right, it's your girl Miss Classy Chassie representing for Avenue Pink where you know we keep it fly, sassy, and chic. And today we're here with alternative R&B sensation, Mr. Mateo. So ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to Mateo. How are you? Yeah, how you doing? Thanks for yeah, sitting hello. down with us today. No problem, no problem. So go ahead and tell the people out there a little bit about yourself, like, you know, a shorter version of your story. Yeah. What put you on the map? Um, well, I, you know, originally from Ohio and, uh, and went to school down in Morehouse. Oh, okay. I did, you know, marketing, I did marketing music down there. And then I moved into New York to do business. Hated it. Hated it. Hated it. You know, like, <laughs> like the corporate job is just not for me. Right, right. Um, but at least so you tried it. I tried it. I tried right. it. And I was just like one of those things where I was like, I'm going to pursue my dreams. And right. got to L.A. and uh, started working, doing some of the music for the Eve show. Oh, okay. And doing a lot of shows out there. And, you know, with L.A., you meet people all the time. Like, Absolutely. You're at every party. is like you could be sitting next to a superstar. Like, and like you just Eve's never like, know. Eve's Right, right, right. Um, and so I was really close friends with Hill Harper, one of the actors on CSI New York. Oh, wow. And he introduced me to Caduce, Caduce Philippe, who used to be one of the VJs, VJs. on TRL. Right, on right. Definitely remember so, like, him. Like, um, the funny thing is, like, actually, when he introduced, when Hill introduced me to Caduce, he was like, yeah, this is uh, one of those uh, new neo soul artists. I was like, whoa, I'm not Whoa. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, so, uh, yeah, he introduced me, and I... Uh, me and Kuz became boys and homies, and he, he, he seems loved the cool. music. Very cool, very cool. He loved the music, and he started working at MySpace Records and brought the project into MySpace. Wow. I'd already been buzzing on MySpace and, okay. and buzzing locally, doing live shows. And uh, he introduced me to them, and that's how it all happened. What is it that Mateo brings to the table that's different? Um, I hope, hopefully it's music that just is thoughtful and is touching. Like, I mean, uh, everything that I write is from the heart, and, right. and hopefully that's the thing that pulls people in is that it's not it's not something manufactured. Right. It's not something that it may not be the radio song Like you were saying before. Right, right, right. right. But I feel like it is the type of song that actually can like maybe even get you through something or it may maybe you were trying to find the words in your relationship. And right. Maybe those you found the words in one of my through songs. Through the song. Um, that's what I really want, you know? Something that's people that respond to it from a very soul heart level. I just want people to feel again. Cool. Feel yeah. the music. I'm with it. I'm with it. Yeah, yeah. So, where do you see your career going within, like, let's say, the next five to ten years? Like, where will we see Mateo? Um, well, hopefully, I'm massively touring. <laughs> I, would, I, I just want to be. I want to travel the world, reach out to fans and people everywhere, and share Absolutely. music with everyone possible. Um, and uh, by the five-year mark, you know, I've had you know a few albums out, a few albums deep. Right. <laughs> Brock Lauren Hill out of retirement and she's oh, doing a duet with me on one of the albums. <laughs> okay, um, a little collabo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and just being able to, you know, even make money doing what I love. You right. Know? And uh, and using the the, power, the success that I have in order, and to influence other people that don't have the opportunities that I have. So right. That's my that's my goal. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. So are you working on any uh, additional projects that you want Avenue Pink or the block party you want us to know about? Oh, yeah, like, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah, what do we need stuff. to know about Mateo oh, right man, now? I'll tell you right now. We, got, <laughs> we first got, um, we just did a live EP. Okay. Um, and it's kind of like a storyteller's type vibe where um, I perform very intimate setting. Okay. kind of, I talk about the music that I'm, you know, that like, inspiration for the music. Right. Great. And uh, and that's going to be available in mid September. Okay, cool. Period, which is uh, it's pretty it's pretty dope, pretty exciting. So you're gonna yeah, make sure dope. we get that. Yes. Okay. You would definitely. I'm get holding that. you to it. Yes. <laughs> CD and the video that's that's with it. It's a DVD. So okay, you gotta awesome. check that out. It's gonna be crazy. How can they reach out to you? Are, are you on Twitter? Do you got Facebook? Oh, MySpace? Yeah, like, how can those. they find out more about Mateo and get in contact with you? Um. Well, you can hit me up on my MySpace, MySpace.com/slash/Mateo. Uh, you can also hit me up at uh, twitter.com. I'm at, at Mateo Online. Is my is my name, my Twitter name. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Um, and then Facebook is facebook.com slash the room Mateo. All right. So check me out. Sounds awesome. Well, thank All you right. so much for coming through All with right. Avenue appreciate Pink it. today. We appreciate know. it. You, you were thank definitely you. a delightful interview. Um, and you guys out there, definitely check Mateo out. He's going to be on Avenue Pink on August 31st as a special guest. So you definitely want to tune in. For now, we got to go ahead and roll out of here. But make sure to keep it locked right here at Avenue Pink.